really thankful for this week. I've been wanting to come to this um, for about six years. I've been asking Judah to come with, um, and he really heard the cry of my heart. So thanks, Jazzy and Robbie, for listening to the Lord in that. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to read down my personal testimony. Um, Thank the Lord. He has answered the cry of my heart for finding the answer to why my husband didn't want to have sex with me. And then God was so gentle in leading us through the process of healing and areas of pain, shame, and where lies came in and is helping us to commit to each other through the healing process. He has given me hope restored and renewed for change in our marriage and said that he is my blessed assurance to make our roots grow deep. I saw a picture at the start of this workshop of a root going deep into the ground. The same way a well is dug deep, not wide, to search for water. Our marriage has been growing and going deep for many years, trying to find water through the hardest soil. I can now see and understand um, we are getting so close to the gushing well of water that is coming. The result will be so much joy, but it is also so much joy and sus um, sustenance for other people. Just like a village that has never had a well, when it finally gushes forth water, it breaks the cycle of thirst and poverty and hardship for many. Our marriage is for us and God, but also for the many, that it will um, shake nations as our union of masculinity and femininity represents the union of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We are one. And uh, I just thought to read mine out as well rather than explain our story. But um, I said, <clears throat> God has revealed his pursuit for my heart and his love for my marriage by taking what I have and where I am currently and nurturing it into its fullness. Every negative word I spoke during the conference was turned into good. God opened the door to the heavenly realm of marriage and gave me the strength through the spirit journey to walk through the door and into wholeness. He has invited me to leave my bags at the door and not to bring them inside. There was a place created to leave the shoes and the old clothes at the foot of the cross. God has protected me and my true identity while requiring my full disclosure. I stood completely exposed before the body of Christ and only experienced full acceptance and love. In, the moment, in that moment, I believe that God set a fire to all my lies, and although it may take time for the fire to consume all the rubbish, I trust that it is finished. Mm -hmm.